Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of Meal Prep Sunday. So I'm excited this Sunday, of course I am. I'm always excited every Meal Prep Sunday. This week on the menu is breakfast burritos, although we're gonna have to make some slight uh, adaptions because I only have four Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. So I'm gonna have to use, I think two of them I'll just do on English muffins, no big deal. And for lunch this week, I'm doing uh, Sloppy Joe casserole. Did this a few months back and we really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna do that for lunch prep this week. And then dinners this week, as far as pre-packaging dinners, I really don't have much to do. I think I only have two of them to do. So it shouldn't be a very long meal prep this week. So if you wanna see how I meal prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for my husband and I for the week, then stay with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy and I am planning us healthy. we're gonna get started right at the stove this morning usually you see me at my prep table but I'm gonna start at the stove this um, this time I am actually going to start the lunch so then while the lunch is um, starting to cook I'll crack my eggs and get those going usually when I make this sloppy joe casserole I, I use uh, ground turkey breast since that's zero points but I am having turkey meatloaf this week two nights, so I don't want that much turkey. I don't want to have turkey for lunch and dinner two days. So I'm going to do ground beef. If you use ground turkey breast, it's going to be four points per serving. With me using the 96% lean ground beef, it's going to make it six points per serving. So I'm just making that little modification. So just keep that in mind that if you're using the recipe that's on my website, that is for the ground turkey, but I'm going to be subbing it out with ground beef. And I'm using a bag of Potatoes O'Brien with onions and peppers. This is actually a little bit over six cups, so what I usually do is just cook the whole bag and then I take a little bit out afterwards. And then you want a can of corn and just drain it. And then you'll need some manwich. I actually have this 15 ounce jar, but I'm only using about half of it. I'm using three quarters of a cup. And then seasoning, salt. I use salt, pepper, garlic powder. That's usually the staples. Usually you guys will see when I make recipes, I kind of add things here and there. Today I think I'm gonna add some onion powder. Actually, no, I'm not gonna add onion powder because there's onions in the potatoes. So we'll put that back away. Okay, so. I'm going to have my things on. So I have my pan sprayed with olive oil spray. And I'm going to let the pan heat up first before I put the potatoes in. So I'm going to start my potatoes and my burger. And then I will scoot you down and we'll start cracking eggs. Okay, once your pan is hot, add the potatoes. And just add your ground beef to your other pan. And then go ahead and add in your spices. So I do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And let that cook up.
Okay, while that's cooking, we're going to move you down here and get our eggs started. So I'm making six servings. So if you're new to my channel, I do six servings of breakfast and six servings of lunch. I do three for me and three for my husband. And the reason that I do three is because I only prep out for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Sometimes I may prepackage a dinner. Got a shell in there. I may prepackage a dinner sometimes for Thursday night, but for the most part, I just do three nights worth for my husband and I. So I'm going to put in 12 eggs. We're going to have the equivalent of two eggs in each burrito. with my eggs um, I don't I, my mother always taught me to use milk in my eggs but I somebody told me on a couple people actually have mentioned to me that they just add a little bit of water um, like a taste a tablespoon of water so that's what I'm gonna do this time because why add extra points if I don't need to so I'm gonna check out my potatoes over here Now you definitely want to wash the potatoes. Um, if you don't like them real dark, then you want to turn down the heat. I have my heat on, actually it's almost all the way up right now. But I like mine, you guys know, I like a lot of my stuff with kind of that char on it. But if you don't like it like that, then just turn it down some. I'm going to chop up my burger while I'm over here. I'm not going to move the camera. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. All right, then we'll just set that aside and come back over here to the potatoes and hamburger. Smells so good. All right, I'm going to let these sit and cook for a little bit, and then I will come back to you. Alright, so after your burger is cooked, and there's not usually any reason to drain this because with the 96% lean, it doesn't usually create any fat to drain. So now add the manwich. Turn your heat down to like simmer. And then just kind of stir it all up until it's all, you don't necessarily have to heat this all the way through because we're not going to be eating it right now. If you were eating it now, then that's all you do is just finish cooking it all the way through and mix everything together. Okay guys, so my eggs are done. And I've just got them on a plate resting so that they can cool down a little bit so that I can put them into burritos. So as you can see, they turned out really good. They are nice and fluffy and I didn't, uh, they're still kind of moist. So uh, I don't want to overcook them because we're going to be re uh, putting them in the microwave. So I have everything pretty much cooling down. And so now I will meet you guys at, back at my prep table. Okay, so now we, the first thing we're gonna do is take the eggs. I just put some salt and pepper on them and I'm gonna weigh out the entire amount so that I know how much I need to put in each container. So just put your bowl on the scale and zero it out and dump the eggs in there.
Okay, so it's just shy of 600 grams. So we're going to have a little bit less than 100 grams in each uh, burrito. So, let's set that aside. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use Canadian bacon in it. And I'm not going to even bother cooking this. Uh, I'm just going to cut it up and put it right inside the burritos. So you can use whatever meat you want. Um, sometimes I use like sausage crumbles. Sometimes I use regular bacon. It just depends. I use something different each time, depending on what I have on hand. So I want to make sure that I don't have more than two in each one though. So I'm going to just cut it into small pieces and just set it aside, set each one aside. You can actually have three pieces for one point, but I'm just going to put two of them in there. I don't have enough uh, of the wraps. I have four of them. So I'm going to use two um, English muffins. All right, I'm going to just pull out some whoops, wrap. some mustard on ours so I just put a little bit of mustard on the bottom and now get my scale zero it out and then just put like I said a little less than a hundred grams on each one cheese. I'm just going to kind of break it apart into pieces. So you can do breakfast burritos however you want. I mean, you can make them so many different ways. So then what you want to do is take your sides and just kind of push them in. You can just roll this up burrito style. And just very carefully. These Olay wraps are thin, so they're definitely not as sturdy as regular wraps, so just be careful when you roll them. And that is it. And then take the wrap and roll them up in that. I usually twist the sides. And that is it. So these are going to be three points. It's one point for the wrap, it's zero for the eggs, one point for the Canadian bacon, and one point for the cheese. So three point wrap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these in a tray and we're gonna have about a quarter of a cup of cottage cheese with it. And then I'm going to just take some hot sauce and put it in a little container. 
Actually, these containers are kind of too big because I don't need that much. And then we can just put that right in the burrito when we go to eat it. So that's it. So it's going to be three points for the wrap, zero for the hot sauce, and one point for the cottage cheese. So this is going to be a four-point breakfast. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them put together. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to do for the muffin. So for the muffin, I'm not even going to cook it first. Okay, so I'm just going to put some mustard on the muffin. And weigh out the eggs. And then, actually, for these ones, you know what? I didn't need to cut those up. I'll put those in a bag and save them for something else because I'm just going to use a slice on it. So I'm going to put a slice on each side. And then a slice of cheese. So the two Canadian bacons that I already cut up, I'll just put those in a bag and put them in the fridge. And that's it. So these ones are going to be five points. This one is three points for the muffin, one point for the cheese, and one point for the bacon. And then for these, I'm just going to wrap them in some parchment paper and then some aluminum foil. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of the breakfast together. And in case you are wondering, I am using, these are three point English muffins. I get these at Aldi. They're the Love and Fresh original. And those are three points. And so I'm gonna make one more of those. And then I will make three more uh, wraps. And then what I'm going to do is to reheat these for the wraps. I'll take them out of the plastic wrap and I'll wrap them in a paper towel. And these only take maybe about 30 seconds to reheat. For the muffins, I will do the same thing. Take it out, I'll wrap it in paper towel. These ones usually take about a minute to reheat. Um, so just keep an eye. Everybody's microwave is different. Uh, so just keep an eye on them. I want to put these on first. are going to be four point lunch or four point breakfast. I think I've been saying lunch. These are four point breakfast, the ones with the wrap. The one with the muffins are going to be six point breakfast. It's 
going to be five points for the muffin and one point for the cottage cheese. So I'm going to put these away and get started on lunch. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I want to just wash off my scale real quick. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I washed my bowl out and I'm going to reuse it again. Try and save from not having too many dishes. Today's prep doesn't have a lot of dishes. Last week, you guys, oh my gosh, it was unbelievable the amount of dishes I had after. Uh, so we're going to zero it out. I am just going to mix everything into the bowl. So I have my can of corn that I have drained and rinsed. And I think I'm going to have to get a spoon. And then put the uh, potatoes in there. Just basically going to mix everything together. Put the ones in there that you drop. And the ground beef. And just mix it all up. Try and get it mixed up as much as you can because we're just going to be kind of guessing what I'm going to do. I've got it on here. It's about 1240, actually 1236. So we're going to put about 206 grams in each dish. So we're just, just make sure it's mixed good so that we have even amounts of everything in there. Okay. Move my scale. And we're going to do the same thing. And I think um, I thought about maybe doing cucumbers or something with this. Actually, I think I've got some carrots. I might just put some carrots in there to snack on. All right, so scale, zero it out, and we want about 206 grams in each container. dressing not even going to use enough that it's might be a point so right now the lunch is six points and like I said if you use ground turkey breast it is only four points so I am going to peel up some cucumbers and you don't have to peel cucumbers if you don't want you can actually leave the skins right on we prefer ours peeled if you've noticed, my husband and I are pretty similar in our likes and dislikes on food, which makes it very convenient for us with losing weight. Uh, I know a lot of you out there have said that, you know, your families don't like every, anything that you're having and some of you cook separate meals. I give you guys kudos because there's no way I could do it. I could not cook something separate for him. So I'll probably put one cucumber worth in each 
tray. of how much I'm using in each one. I am going to weigh this out. So one serving is two tablespoons, which is 32 grams. I don't think I'm going to be using nearly that much. No, I'm using about 16 grams. So that's not even going to be, I'm going to end up using one tablespoon. Really, even with the 16 grams that I'm putting in here, we won't even eat all of it. I mean, some of you know how salad dressing is, you always end up with some in the bottom of your dish. Okay, so I'm going to top them each with about just about an eighth of a cup of cheese. I'm not going to be using that much. I'm going to use Velveeta shreds, and in this way, it's only one point. So the six points is with the cheese, because I did put the cheese in the recipe when I built it. So for eighth of a cup, it's going to be 14 grams. lunches and now I'm going to move on to dinners I don't have very much for dinner this week and um, then snacks and snacks I really don't have too much to do either so I'm gonna put these away and I will be right back okay guys so now we're moving on to dinners I kind of cleaned up my mess a little bit here. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, um, if you're not new to my channel, I know you're so sick of hearing me say this. If you're new to my channel, I uh, do my dinners a little bit different. You could say that it's kind of like a meal delivery, the way you get meal delivery. If anybody has ever tried like Home Chef or Blue Apron or any of those that do uh, meal deliveries, I just portion everything out into a bag for dinners. I don't cook anything. I don't wash the produce. I don't prep or uh, cut it or anything like that. I'm just putting the portions that I need for two people in a bag. Sometimes I do make more than for two people. Um, actually, tonight I am. I'm doing the basil parmesan salmon. If you follow me, you know I love the salmon. It is my favorite. I adapted it off of the Skinny Taste website. I'll put a card up for the recipe that I have my, on my website. Actually, I'll put a card up for the video. I uh, did a video cook with me on this one. So I actually do three servings when I make salmon. Uh, I always make three servings. Sometimes we will have a little bit extra, my husband and I, or sometimes, you know, my dogs love salmon, so I might give some to my dogs. So I always make three, three portions when I do that. For this one, the salmon is two points, two points per serving for the salmon, and then the rice is three points, and the ranch cauliflower is two. So basically what I do, you can see I've just taken a head of cauliflower, I've cut it up, it's not washed yet, it's just cut up, and I'm just putting it in there. I portion, I portion out my sauces and things like that and just put everything in the bag. It's just easier that way when I come home from work, I can pull the bag out, everything's pre-measured, and I just can put it together really easy. So for this night, I'm putting everything in there, but I'm not putting the salmon in there. And the reason being, I thought I still had one package of salmon left from when I we did the Sam's haul a few weeks ago and I don't have any left so I'm gonna have to swing by Aldi on my way home tomorrow night and grab the salmon not a big deal uh, I go right by there and it's it's not like I'm prepping anything um, so if you're new what I would normally do is just put the salmon in this bag 
Um, but since I don't have it, I'm just going to put everything else. So the cauliflower is in there. I'm putting my topping. What I usually do is roast the cauliflower. I roast it in the oven for about 25 minutes. I like it really roasted. Um, I put it on about 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And then we top it with this sauce. It's just a home, kind of like a homemade ranch. It is, uh, this is two ounces of sour cream and one teaspoon of ranch um, dressing, like the powder. And it's the Hidden Valley Ranch kind. But you can use a generic kind too. And I mix it together and this will be enough for two people. So my husband and I will split this and you just pour it over your cauliflower after the cauliflower is cooked. So I'm gonna put together, I have the topping for the salmon. So in this, I have three tablespoons of light mayonnaise and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and I have mixed that together. And I'm gonna cut up about six leaves of basil. And the basil is going to get mixed in with the mayonnaise and Parmesan topping. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to put it in there now. We're going to be having this tomorrow night, but I don't want to put it in there now because I'm afraid that the basil will just be really overpowering. So I will add the basil tomorrow night when I get home from work. So for now, I'm just going to put it in a little container. So when I get home from work tomorrow night, I will take this mayonnaise and Parmesan. I will put the basil in that, mix it all together. This will get put over the salmon. And then I have another half a tablespoon of Parmesan that I'll just sprinkle over the top of that. And that is all there is to that. For the rice that I have with it, I usually just use the 90 second. Um, normally I use ready rice. This is actually earthly grains. This one is uh, a little bit more points than the long grain and wild ready rice, mint rice. Um, that one is five points. This one is seven points for a cup, but they're both three points for a half a cup. And I usually only have half a cup with my dinner. So we'll be having that. And I'm just putting that in here so you see what we're having with it. So then the other thing I would do is just if I had my salmon, I would put my salmon in the bag. And that's all I do with those. Okay, so the next one I'm doing, this one we're actually going to have two nights. And this is barbecue glazed turkey meatloaf. And this is actually a recipe I got from the WW app. It is a really good turkey meatloaf recipe if you like turkey meatloaf. So I do use turkey, uh, ground turkey breast. That's what keeps the points low. It actually comes out to only two points per serving. But you could definitely, if you're not big on ground turkey, you could definitely use ground beef, um, just keep in mind that it's going to change the nutritional values and going to up the points. So for this night, I actually, I'm going to link down below the uh, meatloaf recipe that's on the WW app. But in a couple days, I may change that. The night that we have this, I'm actually going planning on doing a cook with me on it. And I think there's some things that I'm going to be changing on the original recipe to kind of make this my own. Um, I love meatloaf and there's a lot more spices and things that I like to put in it. Not necessarily hot spices, but just other spices um, compared to what is on the WW app. So I may be changing that. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up doing a cook with me on it. So you'll have the new recipe when you see the cook with me come out. The recipe on the WW app makes six servings and I'm making enough for 12. I am going to um, freeze some of it. So I like to make this in bulk and then freeze it to have later. But again, I'm just kind of showing showing you this part just to show you uh, more. It's more about how to prep, not necessarily what the recipe is. So when I do the cook with me, that'll be different. So I have my ground turkey breast in the bag. Meatloaf is an exception with how I do my dinners. Normally when I do a meatloaf, I would go ahead and put the meatloaf together right now and put it in a bag and put it in there like that. Then that way that mo the morning that I'm gonna make it, cause this is a crock pot meatloaf, I would just dump it right in the crock pot. But because I still don't really know how I'm gonna do this one, I'm just showing you this as far as how I package it together to get it ready. So the turkey in there, um, the recipe calls for onion, a quarter of a cup of onion. I'm actually gonna be using a shallot. And then it calls for 
some cheese. I am using Velveeta shreds. And then the other things that it calls for is like salt, pepper, oregano, egg. I'm not going to put any of those in the bag. Um, breadcrumbs. It calls for one third of a cup of breadcrumbs for the six servings. So I am putting breadcrumbs in there. And the night that we have that, I forgot to put my potatoes in there. I want to put those down at the bottom. The night we have it, I'm going to make garlic mashed potatoes. So I'm just throwing some potatoes. Again, these are not washed. I will wash them the night we have it. I have three quarters of a pound of potatoes. My husband and I will split that. Actually, I guess I need to just put those at the top. That way I can stand it up at the end. And then I'm going to put in a garlic clove for the, for the mashed potatoes. And I don't think I'm going to use milk or anything. I think I'm just going to use the water when I make the mashed potatoes. I am going to be having Brussels sprouts that night. And I'm going to be using some Velveeta shreds on the Brussels sprouts. So I just went ahead and weighed those out. I have a quarter, or a, yeah, a quarter of a cup here that I will put on the... Brussels sprouts. So I'm just going to put that in the bag. And then the other thing that you can do if you want is you can make the topping for the meatloaf and you can put the, have that ready and put that in the bag. I'm going to wait because like I said, since I'm doing it cook with me, normally I would put the topping together. I would put the meatloaf together for prep, but because I'm doing a cook with me and, and on this one, I'm doing it a little bit different tonight than I normally would for my dinners. So for this week, that's all I have for dinners. That's it. Just the two, because this will be for two nights. Uh, Thursday night, I'm just going to do a whole chicken in the crock pot. So there's really no prepackaging to do with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my snacks ready and show you guys what we're doing for snacks this week. Okay guys, so for snacks, real quick, um, breakfast, for, I, I made three breakfasts for myself. Tuesday morning we're having a work a breakfast at work, so I didn't, I don't need anything that day. And then Friday I'm just going to do a yogurt with fruit. So I'm not doing my cereal. Sometimes you guys see me prac, um, package out my cereal. I'm not going to do that this week. So for my snacks, if you're new, basically I just use the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps. And I just weigh out, I just pre-portion everything so that when I have come home from work and I want a snack, I can just grab it. It's already weighed out because if I eat out of the bag, I will eat entirely too many. So I weigh out each bag and I just put one portion in each bag. So each, I know each bag is a three point snack. I put 28 grams in each bag. have them with a laughing cow cheese wedge if I'm doing that then I'll just put the lap the wedge in here and I'll just keep these right in the fridge but for this week I am using the salsa con queso from Aldi now I don't normally do this part guys I have to start measuring this out because I have found that when I'm dipping my pretzels I'm using way too much so I told myself that this week I am measuring out or weighing out my two tablespoons. So two tablespoons is 31 grams. And that way if I put too much on one pretzel, then I'm going to have to eat some pretzels without some. 2 tablespoons. Well, not really when you're really putting a lot on each one. So this week they're going to be measured out 
and that will hopefully prevent me from overeating on those. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut up my melon. I actually have some bananas that I need to use up. They're getting pretty ripe, so I'm hoping to eat those up this week. And the other things that we have for snacks are pudding, and sugar-free pudding, and um, yogurt. We sometimes will have a yogurt, have yogurt as a snack. So I'm just going to get this cantaloupe cut up and put in the bag, in the bowls. to get the whole spread out and show you guys what we ended up with this week. All right guys, here it is. This is what we ended up with this week. All right, so we'll start down here with the fruit. Like I said, I have some bananas that I need to use up. If not, I'll be making something <laughs> with bananas next weekend. Um, so cantaloupe bananas, those are zero. And I have all our uh, yogurts here, those are two. Our snack factory or our snack pack sugar free puddings, those are two. And my pretzels, each bag is three. And then I have my measured out queso, um, that's one point for the two tablespoons of queso. So for breakfast, we have the breakfast burritos, we have four, and then we have two breakfast sandwiches. So for the burritos, is three points for the burrito, one point for the cottage cheese zero for the hot sauce and then for the sandwiches is five points for the sandwich one point for the cottage cheese zero for the hot sauce so one most two mornings we'll have four point breakfast and then one morning we'll have a six point breakfast and then our lunches are six points again if you use ground turkey breast you could bring these down to four points or you could even leave off the cheese that would eliminate a point so that's completely up to you so these are going to be six points um, zero for the cucumbers and then six for the sloppy joe casserole i'm telling you guys that is so good and then um, dinners monday like i said i'm gonna to have to pick up my salmon so seven smart point dinner with the basil parmesan salmon with the rice and ranch cauliflower and then the barbecue glaze turkey meatloaf that's i think i put four because we usually have a double serving of that so it'd be four points and then the garlic mashed potatoes i usually make about those come out to about four points and then the cheesy brussels sprouts will be one point because of the cheese so that will be a nine point dinner all right guys that's it another successful meal prep so if you are still with me and you like this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you like this. I think you guys like this. My meal prep videos are pretty much the one that most people watch the most. So um, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, seriously, at the, this past week, the engagement that you all have given me on all my videos is amazing. I mean, I'm just getting more and more people that are commenting. And if you're not one to comment, that is fine. I want you to know I appreciate you too. Just, just you watching is great. Um, but it has been so awesome, all the engagement and all the comments that you guys are giving me and just kind of getting to know everybody. And um, same with on my Facebook page. Again, I do Planning Us Healthy has a Facebook page, facebook.com slash planning us healthy. So make sure to go there and like and follow that so that you get You'll have not only videos, but you'll get um, any pictures that I post. Um, sometimes, usually when I make something, I will post a picture of it on there. And I want to say, if you are new to meal, meal prep, please don't let this uh, overwhelm you. This is, I've been doing this a long time. I started slow and worked my way up. So please don't let this overwhelm you. Um, I am doing this whole meal prep in hopes that I can give everybody something to take from the video. I don't do this for everybody. It's not even about the, 
the actual recipes or anything. It's just to give you an idea of how you can go about meal prepping. You might only want to do breakfast. You might only want to do lunch. You may only prepackage your dinners. Start slow and build up. You certainly don't have to do a great big meal prep like this to be successful. So I, again, don't let this overwhelm you. Just take a small part of it. So if you're new to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That will notify you anytime that I upload new content. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.